What's up guys, welcome to the Cryo FX YouTube channel. Today's video is on CO2 cylinder adapter. The more important part of this video is the different types of adapters that go on the different types of tanks. Clearly we're gonna be talking about CO2 cylinders in general here, just because that's what the video's on. So nitrogen tanks, helium tanks, that'll be a whole separate video. This one is on CO2 cylinders and CO2 cylinder adapters. So without further ado, jumping right into this. On my right, your left, this is a high pressure Dewar tank. It's actually a Dewar or a bulk CO2 tank. This one's particular high pressure because it's between 450 and 550 PSI. Most of them do not get that high. They only go up to 350. I'm just gonna clarify that as this tank. And then on my left and your right, these are the high pressure cylinders. These are high pressure cylinder tanks, which actually house CO2. So we're gonna discuss both of these on this video and the different CO2 cylinder adapters that go with each. Starting with the Dewar or the bulk CO2 tank, these come in 160 liter, 180 liter, other sizes available, but there's a series of different valves on the top. So between the CO2 cylinder valves, you have your liquid ports, your gas ports, you also have your vent port. Those are some of the common ports that you're gonna see on the top of this CO2 cylinder. Now, the adapters for these, CGA320 is what normally comes off of the gas port. Just to note that, I say that with a pause. Now, where the CO2 cylinder adapter comes in, you have your A622 or your CGA622. What does this do? This, and I'll bring the camera up here in just a little bit to cover all of these. This adapter will normally go on your liquid ports. So your gas port is going to be the CGA320. The liquid port is going to be the CGA622 because that's the type of output it has on it. Now, you have a CO2 cylinder adapter that's going to be converting that CGA622 fitting over to a CGA320, and that's what this adapter does. You can tell that it has a pin that goes inside or a male part. This is actually a female fitting. Again, when I bring the camera up close, we'll show you that more in depth. I just wanna cover the overview of this and then we'll get kind of in, in depth on these individual CO2 cylinder adapters. This will go on the liquid port and it converts it over to a CGA320. The reason being is that's the most common used CO2 fitting in the United States. So. With that said, when you are coming off of the vent port on one of these bulk CO2 tanks, the vent port is normally going to be a JIC 37 degree flare fitting or a JIC 37 degree fitting. That's what it looks like on the tank. I just have one here to show you again when the camera comes up close. So the adapter for that normally to convert that over is going to be a female JIC 37 degree, and these come in 5 8 inch or half inch normally, depending on the tank. These fittings are gonna look the same, the sizes will just be a little bit different. And you'll have the female JIC 37 degree over to a male NPT half inch, 3 8 inch, whatever you want for the adapter. Of course, Cryo Effects, which is why you're on this channel. We have these adapters, we sell these adapters, link in the description below. So just wanted to clarify that for you. Now, the other type of CO2 cylinder adapters are gonna be over here on our high pressure cylinders. These high pressure cylinders themselves, the CO2 cylinder valve that's on top is a twist valve for a hand operated twist on and off and the output on these valves is going to be a CGA 320. CGA is Certified Gas Association. That's just the American standard for regulating the different types of gas and fittings. Just to be clarification, just, <laughs> just to be clarification, just to have clarification on that. When you need an adapter for these, with special effects or with other types of hoses that you may get, you may need a different type of adapter that converts that CGA 320 to something else. What might you need? Well, you have a CGA 320 fitting right here. This is a fitting. This has a nut and nipple. So the nipple, the nut, again, when I bring you up closer, we'll show you in a minute here. However, this could be also called an adapter. So for this CO2 cylinder adapter, you have your female CGA 320, and then you have your male quarter inch NPT. 
This can also be converted to whatever size that you need, whether it's a BSPP, NPT, BSPP is British Standard Pipe Parallel, or BSPT, British Standard Pipe Taper. There's a lot of them out there. That's for the British side of things, the German side of things. However, that's a whole different video. So this could be called an adapter. There is another adapter that I was just holding a minute ago, and this adapter itself actually convert some of the hoses that you'll get from overseas whether it's china or hong kong or whatever it may be those hoses do not directly fit onto the cga 320 so you need a co2 cylinder adapter for those what is this adapter this is a simple adapter that looks like this all it does is screw on to the cga 320 and then the other end is a half inch NPT, it's actually a half inch BSPP. And I say that because when you look at it closely, it's a parallel type thread. These come in both parallel and tapered. There's a minute difference, but there is a difference. Note the difference on those is when it's parallel, it's like this. When it's tapered, it's like this. The only way to tell that is to hold it up against the wall and the BSPP see that but that's my try on that okay <laughs> we'll show you an up close video as i've mentioned multiple times on this video already so these adapters these co2 cylinder adapters have an o-ring inside it's crucial that that o-ring stays inside when you're using other types of co2 cylinder adapters it's crucial that you use a washer with those as well the reason being is this is a metal to metal connection when you go on metal to metal here here's my example you have What's happening here? When you have that metal to metal connection, normally people try to compensate for that and they will over tighten this fitting. The fitting will crack and it will break. You'll have a CO2 cylinder leaking everywhere. So don't do that. Make sure you use one of these simple little washers or that the O-ring stays inside on one of these adapters or fittings. Going in depth a little bit more, last but not least, is the CO2 cylinder adapter. It has a CGA. 320 male over to a 3 8 inch NPT national pipe thread tapered male as well. Now this could also be called a CO2 cylinder adapter. We've had customers refer to these as adapters before. This is actually a fitting. So I just wanted to include that in this video to show you and actually cover that here. So that pretty much wraps it up, at least for the nomenclature and showing you on the cylinders. Now, what I'll end up doing is I'll bring the video up close and we're gonna show you the individualized fittings and what they look like so you can have a in-depth closer look at these and how they work in five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, so we're up close and I'm gonna be showing you the individual fittings themselves. So the CO2 cylinder adapters up close. This is the CGA 622. That's what this fitting looks like on this video. So we get a couple different angles in there. Now, this particular CO2 cylinder adapter does not need an O-ring. This is a metal to metal connection. However, this side does need a washer if you're going to be connecting it to one of the CGA 320 fittings. And just to demonstrate, typically that would be a metal to metal. That is a no-no. You definitely want one of these fittings inside there to go in between it. And that's what links those two fittings there. So that's the CGA 320. Again, no, no washer or no O-ring or no thread tape on this one. This is the CGA 622 to a CGA 320 male CO2 cylinder adapter. This one is just a CO2 cylinder fitting or CO2 uh, cylinder adapter is what some people call it as well. This is the female side that goes on to the CO2 cylinder. And this is the quarter inch NPT male that comes off. This is the stem and this is the nut. So our nut nipple is what they technically call it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of funny, isn't it? Now, this is the other adapter I was talking about. This is a 3 8 inch NPT male to a CGA 320. Again, you do need a washer on this one as the other fitting would connect with that washer. However, this side would need thread tape for whatever it goes to. This was the other CO2 cylinder adapter that goes on some of the foreign hoses. This side screws onto the CO2 cylinder. So this, if this was the CO2 cylinder, CGA 320, you have your O-ring inside there. This would screw on like this and that would seal it there. Um, this 
technical fitting is a half inch NPT. It's a very poor design. This is a fitting that is imported, not made in the United States. So they are a little bit off. I will just forewarn you on that. Now, this was the 5 8 inch JIC 37 degree fitting that I talked about earlier. This particular fitting itself, this is a 37 degree slope, if you will. 37 degree and there's 45 degree. This one's 37, it's the most common, so you won't have to worry about that. If you try to connect it to something and it threads in, but you still have a leak, well then this is probably the uh, different, different type than this. 37, 45 degree, you'll know that when it, when it leaks. So regardless, just wanna cover this. This is normally in the vent port of your doer tanks or your large bulk tanks and this would be the CO2 cylinder adapter that you would need for that. Some people call this a CO2 cylinder adapter. This is actually just a fitting. This is a half inch NPT tapered thread, which is standard. And this is the female JIC 37 degree SAE fitting is the technical term. And these do not require washers or thread tape. It's literally a metal to metal connection, just like that. And it seals and it actually seals pretty tight, high pressure. So those are the general fittings here. I just wanted to bring this fitting in. This is not a CO2 cylinder adapter fitting, but I wanted to bring this in and actually show you the difference. You can see the tapered thread here. It's skinnier at this end, larger at this end. And this one is actually a parallel pipe. So there is no tapered on it. If you look really closely, you could see the same thing on this one. You see that there's a taper over here and there's a parallel thread right here. This is the CGA 320. So of course there is gonna be no um, tapered thread on that. It's just parallel. And the reason being is this actually seals it. So typically when you have a parallel thread, you do need some type of O-ring or a washer to seal it thread tape will not work because the way that parallel is. The tapered will work with thread tape because when you screw this into whatever else you're gonna screw it into, it's locking it in as you screw it in. Back to the video. So if you're looking for more information on CO2 cylinders, like CO2 cylinder refills, CO2 cylinder prices, things like that, I have a whole other video just on that that we dive deep into the different CO2 cylinder refill prices and of course, the types of cylinders across the country, possibly even in Canada, and looking at the costs on these, whether it's for the refill, the CO2 cylinder itself, because these do matter, supply and demand, and of course, where the trucks have to truck anything from the gas to the cylinder themselves. There's small margins on cylinders, but I do dive into that in a whole other video. So check out that video for CO2 cylinder prices and CO2 cylinder refills. I'm Chris, this is Cryo effects, <laughs> I obviously know that, but this video was more importantly on CO2 cylinder adapters. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe button to get more from our channel and to stay up to date on the newest videos. And of course, until next video, adios.